The importance of preserving 250 years of architecture here in Newport is immeasurable because Newport is really a laboratory. If one is interested in American domestic architecture, this is the place to come. It's an immersion in architecture and that's why I think the work of the Preservation Society in taking care of so many houses, 11 of them, is so important. The stories of the houses are the stories of the rich and powerful who built them and the domestic staffs who made the houses operate. Without domestic staff, the houses were lifeless. Downton Abbey teaches us a lot about servant life in England and some of the servants here were Newporters who came to work for the families and then after the summer season was over would go back to their homes here in Newport and then others were transported up from New York or Philadelphia. So there might have been as many as 27 domestic servants working on the inside of a house and as many as 16 working on the grounds, uh, handling the horses, handling the carriages. And so the domestic service living in the house was only part of the total domestic service staff. The early 1900s were a period when there was labor trouble everywhere and Newport was not immune from it. As this article from the New York World from July 6th, 1902 plainly indicates, the Elms had its own strike and the Berwins had the standard response, they fired the entire staff. Domestic service was hard work and a hard way to make a living, but it had its rewards, especially for immigrants. This is an example of one of the really well-furnished servants' rooms that you'll see when you take servant life tour at the Newport Mansions. We're in what we believe was Nellie Lynch's bedroom, and Nellie Lynch was in service at the Elms for a number of years, and we know a great deal about her, so when you take a servant life tour here, you're really going to get to know her from the memoirs of herself and her nieces. An important part of the quality of life for someone in domestic service was the quality of their own domestic facilities. And this one is an example of one of three that are on the servant's floor here at the Elms. Now in the era when the great hotels were opening, like the Plaza in New York, if you've got a letter of recommendation from the Berwins or the Vanderbilts or the Astors saying you've been in domestic service for 18 years and I run the Plaza Hotel, you bet I want to offer you a job. There was tremendous upward mobility for people, not only there, but also in the great department store chains. This is Rudolf Stanish, who came to be known as the Omelette King, and he developed quite a reputation for making the perfect omelette, and it made him a national celebrity. In fact, here's a photograph with comedian Carl Reiner from the 1950s. If it can be said that the butler's pantry was the nerve center for any great house, then I guess the kitchen would certainly be thought of as the soul. And Chef Paul Pascal for many, many years presided over this incredible kitchen, very much like the kitchens in the great houses, not only of Newport, but New York and elsewhere. There are many, many more stories here at the Newport Mansions. Come visit us.